Hello everyone, it's another wonderful DIY Arts and Crafts. Today, I feel like we play with color, we play with crayons. So, today we're gonna make something like this, which is really cute. Um, You guys probably seen this a lot on YouTube and Pinterest, so I figured, let's try it out. So, this is what you would need. To do the melting crayon art, you would need a silhouette cutout, glue, a canvas or hard cardboard, a hair dryer, a glue gun with glue sticks and a tray, crayons, I'm using a whole bunch of old crayons, I recommend at least two to three packs, cups, Something to hold your canvas. I'm using a um, book holder and trash bag. Also, I forgot to mention you will also need a rubber band or a hair tie to hold your cup. First thing first, you're going to glue on your silhouette. Um, if you don't have print a printout, you could always draw a silhouette or trace. I'm not that gifted, so I will be using a printout. So basically just add you some glue on your printout and glue it to your canvas. It's best to use a glue stick. However, I don't have any, so I'm using whatever I got. After you chose your crayons, the next thing is to just um, glue them onto your canvas. Again, I'm using a hot glue gun. I recommend you use a hot glue gun um, or just a strong bond glue so it can stick to the canvas. You just screw the crayon like so onto the canvas. You're gonna do this all the way towards the end and try to keep your crayons in the same pattern. But have fun with it.
you get all of your crayons stuck to your canvas, you're gonna place it on a holder. I'm using a book holder. Okay. And then you're gonna take a cup and gauge the size of your umbrella and then just rubber band the cup to your canvas. Okay, so the very last thing to do is just to use your hair dryer to melt the crayons. This does take a little bit of, of some time, so please have patience. And please be careful because, again, it does splatter, so make sure you have a, a lot of coverage. You're just going to let it dry for a few minutes and then it's ready. It usually takes it about maybe two to three minutes to completely dry because it's just melted crayon. As you can see, the drops at the very bottom are already dry. So just give it a few minutes and then you can remove the cup. Okay, you guys, this is the finished product. I love how these both came out. A um, little bit of sub cons while doing this project just FYI my blow dryer kind of gave out and had to rest for a little bit so you might have to take a break but the good thing about it I think it makes the art piece a little bit better um because on this piece of course it was more crayons but being that I had to keep going back they splattered in like a really pretty design um this one didn't take as much to do and I went for more of a vibrant reddish orange tones. So definitely have fun with this project. These are really cute to put in your room or just anywhere to decorate. Um, again, random old crayons and just a silhouette cutout. 